Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, a new AMD GPU was spotted, the RX 6600 and 6600 XT specs confirmed, GPU prices are getting even higher, a new record broken, and Nvidia's RTX 5000 series specs leak. And it's a giant change. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, AMD published a new update to their Linux driver with information on a new codename called Beige Gobi. Now, what's interesting is that one user figured out that it's likely Navi24 because it has 16 megabytes of infinity cache, which is what the leak suggested Navi24 would have. Not only that, but it's set to get a maximum of 1024 cores, and according to video cards, it's likely going to make up the RX 6500 and possibly even the RX 6400 GPU. At the end of the day, it'll be interesting to see how well these perform, as they could be a great replacement for AMD's aging RX 590, though they're not as good as what's coming next. But before I get to that, if you're like me, you probably don't have a lot of free time, so you tend to neglect things, even important things like reading. Well, I finally found the answer with today's sponsor. Blinkist, this really cool app that takes thousands of non-fiction books and condenses them into just 15 minute snippets so you can actually learn without using a ton of time. Plus they give you the option to read or listen like an audiobook. I'm currently learning to be more productive in the morning, so wish me luck. Either way, don't wait any longer by joining over 14 million users on Blinkist today. And the first 100 of my viewers who go to Blinkist.com slash GamerMeld get unlimited access for one week to try it out. You'll also get 25% off on the full membership after. So start learning by visiting Blinkist.com slash GamerMeld today. Next up, we have confirmation of the recent leak on AMD's upcoming RX 6600 XT and non-XT GPUs. As you can see, the poster that I went over on my last video updated it with screenshots of GPU-Z, and it confirms the 8GB of memory for both cards, as well as the 2048 cores in the 6600 XT and 1792 in the non-XT model. As you can see, the clock speeds of the non-XT model aren't shown, but we can see a base clock of 1689MHz and a boost of 2679 for the 6600 XT. One thing I do want to quickly mention is that when we look at reports going around discussing this story, the clocks are different than the ones currently on the Chipel forums. I'm not sure as to why, but I thought I'd point that out. Anyway, as for release, we know AMD promised another card before the second half of this year, so it's likely coming soon. And make sure you subscribe to GamerMeld for updates on that as it becomes available. Next up for today, if you're one of many who's been trying to pick up a new GPU, you know just how hard it can be, or in many cases, how expensive. In an update to Tom's Hardware's GPU price index, where they manually go through GPU listings on eBay, we can see that things are not looking good. And when compared to last month, nearly every GPU has gone up in price, with Nvidia's RTX 3090 topping the charts at over $3,100. And that's with an average from 751 GPUs. What's worse is that while the 3090 is over double its already ridiculous MSRP, other GPUs are even higher still. For example, the RTX 3060 Ti is selling at over three times its MSRP. Now, with that said, there's a glimmer of hope. According to Tom's Hardware, some of the GPU's actual sales volume increased, like there were 30% more 3080s and 18% more 3060s. That could mean there's more GPUs being made, though it's tough to say for sure, especially since some GPU volume actually lowered. At the end of the day, like Tom's Hardware mentioned, the cryptocurrency Ethereum is skyrocketing, and that's the cryptocurrency where GPUs are still relevant, so there's likely a ton of demand from that, not to mention all the shortages going on regardless. Hopefully something will give before too long. Next up, AMD's RX 6900 XT has yet again broken the world record GPU overclock, but this time we have a record-breaking benchmark to go along with it. This new achievement was set by Team OGS on the new Red Devil Ultimate 6900 XT. As for the actual overclock, they were able to get it up to an amazing 3.32 GHz, and with that overclock, they broke the record for 3 d Mark's Firestrike Extreme by getting a graphic score of 41,069. Of course, to achieve that, they used liquid nitrogen for both the CPU and GPU, but it's still truly impressive regardless. 
and this was only achieved using AMD's new XTX-H GPU that moves the overclocking limit all the way to 4 GHz. Whether anyone could ever actually max that out is highly unlikely. And lastly for today, we have a huge leak on NVIDIA's next generation of GPUs. Or really the next next, as technically the next generation is rumored to be codenamed Lovelace. The architecture this leak refers to is Hopper, which should be the RTX 5000 series of GPUs. Plus there's a bit of info on the 4000 series. Now I'm sure I'll likely get a bunch of comments wondering why I'm talking about something so far into the future, but hear me out. For one, I look at these as GPUs you will actually be able to buy. The shortages should certainly be over by their release. Plus, Lovelace looks to be more of a stopgap until we reach Hopper. Either way, the story originally comes from Copite7Kimmy, who's been very accurate on NVIDIA leaks in the past. And when we look at the tweet, it may seem really cryptic, but he goes on to explain that these are numbers for an NVIDIA architecture. So when we do the math, we get 144 SMs times 2. And it's really that times 2 that's extremely interesting because it points to a multi-chip module design. Remember that rumors have pointed to Hopper using an MCM design for a while now. And we know that Nvidia is looking at MCM designs for future GPUs. Now, moving back to this, if we keep the same amount of cores per SM as Ampere, it would mean that NVIDIA's upcoming GPU would get 18,432 CUDA cores per module. And what's interesting is that that's how many is set to be on next gens at a Lovelace. But here, it's times two. So Hopper gets an astronomical total of 36,864 cores. For those who don't know, that's over three and a half times the cores of NVIDIA's RTX 3090, and that shows the real power of an MCM design. Something like that would never be possible on a monolithic die. Of course, it's still likely a ways away, but it's really interesting to see the future NVIDIA is planning. Let's just hope they are actually available by then. So while that does it for today, are you really pumped for NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 5000 series? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.